The patch tool in Photoshop has a lot in common with Content-Aware Fill and the Healing Brush. Let's see how we might use this tool to remove one of the horses in the background. I'm going to start off by making a copy of the background layer by choosing Command-J on the Mac or Control-J on Windows. And this is just so that I can keep the retouching from the patch tool on a separate layer. Working with the patch tool always starts with a selection of the area that you want to patch. You can use any of the selection tools to create this, or you can also use the patch tool itself as a lasso for the first step. So let's come over here to the toolbar and choose the patch tool. And what I'm going to do is drag a loose lasso selection with the patch tool around this horse in the center background. Up in the options bar for the patch tool, I have two different methods that I could use, normal or content aware. I'm going to leave this set to normal for now. And in normal mode, you can choose to patch either the source or the destination. Let's start off with the destination. And what destination refers to is where you drag these selected pixels. So essentially, it's going to make a copy of these pixels and blend them in wherever you choose to move them. So let's drag this horse over to the right side here. And you can see that it's created a very convincing blend of moving that horse over there. I'm going to undo that by choosing Command Z or Control Z on Windows. And now let's set this to Source. So what the source is referring to is what we started with, this selection here. And to create the patch, you drag this selection over to an area that has good detail. Let me drag it over here to the same area just because I have a lot of background detail over there. And something like that looks pretty good. That's not working as well as I would hope, uh, mainly because there are some differences in the background that aren't lining up. And there's also some differences to the clarity of the details in the background and the brightness and the contrast of that area. And that's because these two horses, which are having an obvious disagreement, are kicking up quite a lot of dust in this area here between them. And that dust is obscuring the details in the background. It's also affecting the contrast and the brightness. So because of that, this area over here on the right is not really working as well as I would hope to create a good patch. So again, let me undo that. And I think I need to approach this in a different way. So I'm going to get rid of that selection. And what I'm going to do is use this detail between the dark brown horse and the lighter horse in the background as the patch. But I don't have enough room here to create the patch in one step. So I have to break it up into two steps. So let me make a selection of the back half of the horse. And I think I'm going to change the patch method to content aware. I think that that's going to do a little bit better job. And let me drag this over here. And I'm going to make sure I line up the band of grasses there. Yeah, that's definitely working. Let's make another selection of the front half of the horse and drag it in the same place. Again, I'm going to make sure I line up that band of grasses there. All right, that's definitely something I can work with. However, since I was copying the same bit of detail twice, I do have some repeating elements showing up. So I'm going to fix those with the clone stamp tool. I will option or alt click to sample areas that I can then brush over and just obscure the fact that we do have these repeating details here in the background. And even these tufts of grass need to be adjusted a little bit. So it's always good to cast a discerning eye on the area that you have been retouching just to make sure that you don't have any areas where there are obvious repeating details. All right, I think that that's going to work pretty well. Let's turn that retouching layer off and on there by clicking on its eye icon. So of the several retouching tools in Photoshop that you can use for removing objects from an image, which one you use will depend on the specific details in the image and the capabilities of the tool. As we saw in this project using the patch tool and the clone stamp, sometimes the best approach may be to use multiple retouching tools.